Hello, <coughs> welcome back. I'm John, old YouTuber. It's Sunday today, so I got up again. It's 10, 10 a.m. I was planning to read about the Abrams, the M1 Abrams tank, the American tank, but this uh, Rheinmetall RH120, that's the cannon on the Leopard uh, 2 tanks, I think we should read this. And Kraus Mephi Wigman, they was building the, the Leopard tanks, and this company is was building the the engines inside the Leopard uh, 2 tanks, I don't know about Leopard 1, maybe. I think we should do that, that's 15 pages, then uh, I have to do it tomorrow, Abrams tanks. Uh, but I have more than 200, we have all these papers there. And I did find uh, and still have the, the World War 1, we still need to do this, but let's do more of the modern. We have more of the modern. But I have to run into this uh, camcorder, takes 24 hours to charging. But uh, let's just try to continue and I was actually, this is why I call uh, looking at PC gamer hardware, I was actually to read a lot about uh, computer hardware. I already did that, then I took a break and I read about uh, car brands and cars. Then I did start to read about these tanks, so I still need to get back <coughs> to read about all my car brands. I did not finish this, but this will take uh, many weeks, weeks and months to do this uh, tanks and weapons and wars. So uh, and, uh, let's try to do this because that's something I like to, to read about myself because we have this <coughs> war in Ukraine and they're talking a lot about different kind of uh, weapons and maybe uh, uh, NATO will get involved with uh, Russia in the future this year, later this year maybe. Never know or this summer. Because uh, all Americans are sending many two, three hundred thousand of soldiers to uh, Eastern Europe, and many, many hundreds, many hundreds of thousand of uh, like uh, Abrams tanks. So, but this is the cannon, uh, cannon to the Leopard two tanks. 120 millimeters on the old Leopard 1 is maybe 105 millimeter. Rain Metal RH 120. Rain Metal RH 120 M256.png. A diagram of M256 gun tip has moved for a tank gun place of origin West German is service history in service 1979 present used by C operators production history designer in metal manufacturer in metal specifications master forward slash 44 1190 kilogram 2620 pound gun barrel L forward slash 44 3,780 kilogram, 8,330 pound, gun mount L forward slash 55, 1,347 kilogram, 2,970 pound, gun barrel L forward slash 55, 4,160 kilogram, 9,170 pound, gun mount length of forward slash 44, 5.3 m, 17 feet, L forward slash 55, 6.6 m, 22 feet, barrel length 4455 caliber shell 120 x 570 mm or caliber 120 mm, 4.72 in, muzzle velocity L forward slash 44, 1530 to 1,650 m forward slash s. 
5000 to 5 comma 400 foot forward slash s l forward slash 55 1640 to 1 comma 750 m forward slash s 5400 to 5 comma 700 foot forward slash s effective firing range 4 comma 0 0 0 meters 4400 yard with dm 63 1 the rain metal RH120 is a 120 mm smooth Britain gun designed and produced in former West Germany by the Rain Metal Dit AG company. It was developed in response to Soviet advances in armor technology and development of new armored threats. Production began in 1974 with the first version of the gun, known as the L forward slash 44 as it was 44 caliber S long used on the German Leopard 2 tank and soon produced under license for the American M101 Abrams and other tanks. The 120mm 4.7 in gun has a length of 5.28 meters, 17.3 feet, and the gun system weighs approximately 3,317 kilograms, 7,313 pound, dot by 1990. The L forward slash 44 was not considered powerful enough to defeat future Soviet armor, which stimulated an effort by Rain Metal to develop a better main armament. This first involved a 140mm, 5.5 in, tank gun named Neupanzerkanun 140, Newton gun 140, but later turned into a compromise UHIC led to the development of an advanced 120 gun. The L forward slash 55, based on the same internal geometry as L forward slash 44 and installed in the same breech and mount. The L forward slash 55 is 1.32 meters, 4.3 feet, longer, generating increased muzzle velocity for rounds fired through it. As the L forward slash 55 retains the same barrel geometry. It can fire the same ammunition as the L forward slash 44. This gun was retrofitted into German and Dutch Leopard 2S and chosen as the main gun of the Spanish Leopard 2E and the Greek Leopard 2 Hell. It wasted on the British Challenger 2 as a potential replacement for its rifled L3120 mm cannon. A variety of ammunition has been developed for use but tanks with guns based on Rain Metal's original L forward slash 44 design. This includes a series of kinetic energy penetrators, such as the American M829 series, and I explosive anti tank warheads. Recent ammunition includes a range of anti-personnel rounds and demolition munitions. The Lahat, developed in Israel, is a gun-launched anti-tank guided missile which has received interest from Germany and other Leopard 2 users. It is designed to defeat both land armor and 8,000 meters, 8,700 yard, with LAH-80 anti-tank cuded missile, too. Muzzle of a rain metal 120 mm L forward slash 55 tank gun owner Spanish Leopard 2 a combat helicopters. The Israelis also introduced a new interpersonnel munition which limits collateral damage by controlling the fragmentation of the projectile. Background. Prototype of the Leopard 2 The development of the 120mm L forward slash 44 gun started in 1965, as the Bundeswehr felt a more powerful gun was needed for its new tanks. Dot, 3, 4. The first instance of a larger Soviet tank gun was witnessed on the chassis of a modified T-55 in 1961. Dot, 5. In 1965, the Soviet Union's T-62 made its first public appearance, armed with a 115mm, 4.5 in, smooth bore tank gun. Dot, 6. The Soviet decision to increase the power of its tank's main armament had come when, in the early 1960s, an Iranian tank commander defected over the Soviet border in a brand new M60 pattern tank, which weighs armed with the 105mm. 4.1 in M68 gun, the US version of the British Royal Ordnance L7.7, .7, developed in 1965, 
Despite the introduction of the T-62, in 1969 their T-64 tank was rearmed with a new 125mm, 4.9 in, tank gun, 7. While in 1972 Nijni Tajil began production of the T-72 tank, also armed with the 125mm, 4.9 in, gun dot, 8, at the fighting at Sultan Yaqub. During the 1982 Lebanon War, the Israeli government claimed to have destroyed nine Syrian T-72s with the Merkava main battle tank, armed with an Israeli version of the American M68 105mm, 4.1 in, tank gun dot, 9, whether true or not. The Soviets just fired a number of Israeli M111 heads armor-piercing discarding Sabbat rounds at Kubinka, finding the 105mm, 4.1 in, round was able to perforate the sloped front section plate but not the turret armor of T-72 tank. Dot, 10. In response, the Soviets developed the T-72 M1.11. This led Israel to opt for a 120 tank gun during the development process of the Merkava 3 main battle tank. 12. This case is similar to the American decision to replace the M68 105mm, 4.1 in, tank gun with Rain Metal's 120mm gun in 1976. The introduction of the T-64 had raised the question within the armor community of whether the new ammunition for the existing gun caliber could effectively defeat the new Soviet tank. 13. In 1963, Germany and the United States had already embarked on a joint tank program, known as the MBT-70. The new tank carried a crew of three, with the driver in the turret, an automatic loader for the main gun, a 20mm, 0.79 in, autocannon as secondary armament, an active hydro pneumatic suspension and spaced armor on the glasses plate and front turret. 14. The new tank concept also had improved armament, a 152mm, 6.0 in, missile launching main gun designed to fire the MGM-51 Shilala anti-tank missile. 15. However, the German army was interested in a tank gun which could fire conventional ammunition. Although there were attempts to modify the 152mm, 6.0 in, tank gun to do so, the process proved extremely difficult, and the Germans began development of the future Rain Metal 120mm gun instead. 16. An M101 Abrams, firing its US built M256 120mm tank gun in 1967, the German Ministry of Defense decided to reopen a Leopard 1 improvement program, known as the Vergoldete Leopard. Gilded Leopard, later renamed the Kiala, Wild Boar, Dot Kraus Mafia was chosen as the contractor, and two prototype S were developed in 1969 and 1970. 17. This program grew into the Leopard 2. The first prototype of the new tank was delivered in 1972, equipped with a 105mm, 4.1 in, smooth bore main gun. Between 1972 and 1975, a total of 17 prototypes were developed. 18. The new 120mm gun's 10 year development effort ended in 1974. 4. 10 of the 17 turrets built were equipped with 105mm smoothbore guns, and the other 7 were equipped with larger, 120mm guns. 19. Another program aimed to mount the 152mm, 6.0 in, missile gun was also begun in an attempt to save components from the MBT-70. Built in 1971 the program was ended for economic reasons. 20. Instead, the Germans opted for Rain Metal S 120mm L forward slash 44 smoothbore tank gun. 21. Design features. 
the smooth bone barrel of an Austrian Leopard 2 a full rain metal SL forward slash 44 tank gun has a caliber of 120 millimeters, a length of 44 calibers, 5.28 meters, 17.3 feet, and a chamber volume of 10.2 liters, 622.44 in 3, dot, 22, 23. The gun's barrel weighs 1,190 kilograms, 2,620 pound, 24, and on the M1 Abrams the gun mount weighs 3,317 kilograms, 7,313 pound, 25, while the new barrel, L forward slash 55, is 55 calibres long, 1.30 meters, 4.3 feet, longer. The bore evacuator and the gun's thermal sleeve, designed to regulate the temperature of the barrel are made of glass reinforced plastic, while the barrel has a chrome lining to increase barrel life. Dot. Four. Originally the gun had an EF barrel life of tilde 1,500 rounds, 26, but with recent advances in propellant technology, the average life has increased even further. Dot. 27. The gun's recoil mechanism is composed of two hydraulic retarders and a hydropneumatic assembly. Dot. Four variants. RH 120L forward slash 44 120 mm. Production of the German Leopard 2 and the new 120 mm tank gun began in 1979, fulfilling an order for the German Army. Dot. 28. The L forward slash 44 extreme service condition pressure, ESCP, is 672 MPa, 97,465 Psi. The permissible maximum pressure, PMP, 710 MPa, 102,977 Psi. And the design pressure from 740 MPa. 107,328 Psi. Dot. 29. Although the American M1 Abrams was originally armed with the M68 A1 105 mm gun, a version of the L7 30, the United States Army had planned to fit the tank with a larger main gun at a later date. 31. And the tank's turret had been designed to accommodate a larger 120 mm gun. Dot 30. The larger goon was integrated into the M101 Abrams, with the first vehicle coming off the production line in 1985. 32. The gun, known as the M256, was based on the L forward slash 44 tank gun. Although manufactured at Waterfly at Arsenal, tanks armed with versions of Rain Metal's gun produced under license include Japan's Type 90, 33, and South Korea's K101.34. The M256 based on the L forward slash 44 when firing M829 A1 armor piercing, fit stabilized, discarding Sabot. Tracer, Apfst T, ammunition can attain a peak chamber pressure of 661.9 MPa, 96,000 Psi, at 49 degrees Celsius, 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and 569.85 MPa, 82,650 Psi, at 21 degrees Celsius, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, dot, 35. RH 120L forward slash 55 120 millimeters. Leopard 2 or 6 of the German army with 120 millimeters L forward slash 55. The appearance of new Soviet tanks such as the T-80B during the 1970s and early 1980s led to the development of new technologies and weapons to counter the threat posed to Western armor. 36. The T-80B had increased firepower, 37, and new composite ceramic armor. 38. The T-72 also went through a modernization program in an attempt to bring it up to the standards of the T-80B. 
In 1985, the new T-72B version entered production with a new laminate armor protection system. Its turret armor designed mainly to defeat anti-tank missiles, surpassed the T-80Bs in protection. 39. The German government began developing the Leopard 3, although this was canceled after the fall of the Soviet Union. 40. On the 29th of October, 1991, the governments of Switzerland, the Netherlands and Germany agreed to cooperate.